Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning in to this video blog. In this video, I want to talk about the web design process. Now, I've covered some of this stuff in other videos. I cover it extensively in my web design training course, but um, this topic came up um, because I think it can solve a lot of problems that people have, and that's the issue of struggling with designing a website from scratch. Now, um, if you follow my videos, if you follow my video blogs, um, you take my training course, you know I cover uh, or you know I talk about um, copying other designers to better improve your visual design skills. And this is a great technique, you know, I preach it. Um, this is an old technique, Picasso did it, where they copied other artists to kind of um, sharpen their skills and enhance their skills. So I like to say go out there and copy top designers as a practice technique and then you will better improve your visual design skills. Now, I preach this a lot and I get a lot of emails sometimes from people saying, uh, Mike, you know what, I'm really good at, at copying um, websites or copying designs um, as a practice technique, but when it comes to me having to design a website from scratch, I don't know where to go. Okay, I don't know what to do. And that's where the web design process comes into play. That's why the, that's where the web design process is important. Now, um, I have a web design process that I've mastered on my own. I've created, I, I've sort of studied other agencies and things like that. And I kind of came up with an own process that I'll, I'll share with you of uh, the five simple things that I do. And you can take this, kind of start with it. If you don't have a process of your own, take it, start with it, and then make it your own. You know, change things around and improve upon it. And the point is, with a process, with a plan of action, um, when it comes to designing a, a website or a project, um, you can follow this plan and then take action. It allows you to actually just kind of move your feet forward, you know, whereas if you, you don't have a plan, you don't have a, a process, then you're just stuck and you'll not know what to do when it comes to designing a website. So here's my process. Take from it what you will and uh, use it if you want or change it up around. But uh, here's what I do. The first thing I do when, I comes, when it comes to me designing a, a website or any type of project is the number one thing is gathering requirements. Okay, that's number one. This is what I call the kickoff meeting. Again, I cover it extensively in my web design training course. I talk about it, I give you examples, but basically the kickoff meeting or the number one step gathering requirements is where you're going to ask a million and one questions to um, that person, okay? What is the website about? What do you want the website to do? Do you wanna sell something on the website? Do you want someone to download something? Um, how do you want the website to work? What do you want the users to do? What are the goals of the website? Um, uh, are there any websites out there that you like? Um, are there any colors that you want to you want your website to 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 be, etc.? So you, there's no right and wrong in terms of all the questions you ask. You just want to continue to ask questions in that number one step. Okay, that's gathering all the requirements. What type of widgets do you want on your website? What do you want the website to do, et cetera? So you gather all that stuff, and that's the number one thing, okay? That's called the kickoff meeting. Number two is the research phase, okay? Now, when you've gathered all the requirements um, in step one, what you want to do is take those and go out there. So you go out there and find websites that sell things on their, on their, on their site. Um, go out there and find websites that allow you to download things if that was the purpose. Um, go out there and find similar websites. Um, go out there and research different competitors. So you do all this stuff in the research phase. All right. Number three is gathering content. All right. Content um, consists of images and actual words, things that you're going to use on the website. All right. And that's the important thing. Now, step two and step three can be switched around a little bit. So sometimes um, after you gather requirements, you can actually go into directly gathering content and information for your website and then go about the research phase. So those two can switch back and forth a little bit sometimes because sometimes the content that you have will dictate um, your research and it will dictate your designs and vice versa. Okay, so what you find on the, your research might dictate how you lay out your content. So those two, those two steps can can be switched back and forth. It doesn't really matter which one comes first. Okay, so number one, gathering requirements. Number two, researching. 
Number three, um, gathering content. And number four is the design phase, is where you will sketch, wireframe, and prototype your designs based on the research, based on the content you have, and based on the requirements. All right, and then number five is the development phase. All right, and that's where you code your website. So these are my, this is my process. This is what I've memorized. This is what I do consistently for everything that I have. This is what you can use. I just kind of outline them um, pretty clearly or pretty just vaguely, but um, go out there and uh, make it your own. Try this out. Um, I cover this again, as I mentioned extensively in my training course, where I show you exactly what I do step by step, you know, um, and, and go out there and research and bringing things in and building the website. And um, but you can do this on your own. Go out there on your own and uh, start working on that. And what happens is by having a process, by having a plan, by having a an action plan uh, for each and every project that you embark, you, you undertake. Um, it's going to allow you to actually take that step forward and actually get something done on paper, all right? And it's going to stop you or help you from that struggle of not knowing what to do when it comes to building a website from scratch, all right? Um, that's my plan. Use it as you will and, uh, you know, do some good stuff with it um, and make it your own. Change it up a bit, all right? That's all I got, guys. If you have any questions, as always, visit my website, mlwebco.com, for more information and uh, to email me if you will, if you want, and uh, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, we'll be talking soon. All right, take care, bye.